Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to compare between two raised to the power of two, raised to the power of two, raised to the power of two, and raised to the power of two versus four raised to the power of four, 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 four. Now we are going to find out which of these two numbers is actually the bigger number. Now what we are going to do is whenever you have an exponential problem of this nature, you simply start from the top two numbers. Then here we have 2 raised to the power of 2. So we can rewrite this as 2 power 2 power 2. Then 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. So we have power 4. Against here we have 4 raised to the power of 4, 4, 4, and 4. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can make the basis here to be the same. So we are going to have 2 power 2 power 2 power 4 faces here. We can have it as 2 power 2, that is 4, or raised to the power of 4, 4, 4, and 4. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can multiply these two exponents using this identity. If we have a power n or power m, this equals a power n times m. So that means we are going to have 2 power 2 power 2 power 4 faces. Here we have 2 power. If you multiply this, we are going to have 8, 8, 8, and 8. Now the next thing we are going to do is since the bases are the same, we can compare the exponent. So we are going to have 2 power 2, power 4, faces 8, 8, 8, and 8. Now the next thing we are going to do is to consider these two numbers here. 2 power 4, let me check, is that, yeah, that is it. So 2 power 4 is what? It's 16. So we have 2 power 16, faces, this is 8, 8, 8, 8. We can factor out 8. We have 8 times 1, 1, 1, 1. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can rewrite this 2 power 16 as 2 power 3 plus 13. Then we have faces 8 times 1, 1, 1, 1. Now at this point we can apply this identity right here. If we have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a power m. So we apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have 2 power 3 times 2 power 13 versus 8 times 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, what is 2 power 3? This is 8 times 2 power 13 versus 8 times 1, 1, 1, 1. So since we have 8 here, we have 8 here, we can divide through by 8. So 8 will cancel 8 here, 8 cancel 8 here. So we are now comparing between 2 power 13 faces 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, 2 power 13 is pretty high, but the value of 2 power 12 is 4096. Now this value here is greater than 1111. If this value is greater than 111, that means 2 power 13, which is greater than 4096, is also greater than 1111. Have you seen the logic? So if this is greater than 2 power 12, which is 4096, that means it's greater than 1111. So by doing that, that means we are very sure that 2 power 13 is greater than what we have here. So because of that, we can also accept that this number we have here is greater than this number we have here. And that also means that what we have here is greater than what we have here. And finally, we can all agree that the number we have here is greater than the number we have here. 
So that's it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe, share the video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.